Hello dear students, today we will be talking about antipsychotic drugs. Schizophrenia is a particular type of psychosis which is a mental disorder that is caused by some inherent dysfunction of the brain and it is characterized by delusions, hallucinations and thinking or speech disturbances. And it, mainly schizophrenia is treated with antipsychotic drugs. Antipsychotic drugs are divided into first generation and second generation agents. An example of first generation drugs are, is haloperidol, while second generation agents are also called atypical antipsychotics. An example of this group are clozapine, risperidone, risperidone and olanzapine. The mechanism of action for first generation antipsychotics are that they competitively block dopamine receptors, especially D2 receptors. And that's why they are associated with movement disorders, particularly the one that uh, bind tightly to dopamine receptor like halobutyrol. While second generation antipsychotics, they work mainly by blocking serotonin receptors and also dopamine receptors. That's why they have fewer extrapyramidal symptoms than the first generation antipsychotic drugs. So both generations of antipsychotic drugs, they reduce the hallucination and delusions that, that are associated with schizophrenia. And this hallucination and delusion, they are called like the positive symptoms. And, and by blocking the dopamine receptors in the mesolimbic system of the brain. And but, but the negative symptoms such as the planted effect and anhedonia, which is not which is not getting pleasure from the normal pleasurable stimuli, and are not as responsive to to therapy with first generation agents. But uh, many second generation drugs such as clozapine and olanzapine they can ameliorate the negative symptoms of uh, of schizophrenia. As many uh, drugs that are used in, for central nervous system uh, disease and, and psychotic drugs also, they, they usually take several days to weeks to, for the effects to, to start. If we talk about extra pyramidal side effect, which is a main side effect for these antipsychotic drugs, they include like dystonia, which is a sustained contraction of muscles and Parkinson-like symptoms, also akathisia, which is motor restlessness, and tardive dyskinesia, which is involuntary movement of the tange, of the tange, lips, neck, trunk, and limbs. So these symptoms they might occur with chronic treatment of antipsychotic drugs, and the main reason that uh, these movement disorders occur is because of uh, the mechanism of action of these antipsychotic drugs, which is blocking the dopamine receptors. But as we said before, the second generation and antipsychotic drugs they exhibit lower incidence of these symptoms. Also, antipsychotic uh, drugs they have uh, both anti-emetic effects and anti-cholinergic effects as well. Finally, I also want to mention the long-acting injectable formulations uh, of antipsychotic drugs like flu, phenazine, decanoate, risperidone, microspheres, and haloperidol, decanoate, and palpiridone, palmitate. These drugs are administered via deep gluteal and gluteal intramuscular injection or deltoid injections and they have therapeutic duration of action up to two and, uh, and, and four weeks. And mostly they are used to treat outpatients and individuals who are not compliant with oral medications. And the risk of an uh, pyramidal symptoms is also lower with these uh, long-acting formulations. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel.